Meantime, the three rounds of Western sanctions against Russia are starting to bite into the profit margins of multinational corpor corporations rather around the world. CCTV's Jessica Stone joins us with the numbers. Jessica. And Elaine, after the fall of the Soviet Union, the United States and Europe very much encouraged economic integration around the globe with Russia, along with its joining of the WTO. There are a host of joint ventures between Russian companies and American and European companies, especially in the energy and mineral sectors. This has already been a very tough year for Moscow, with its stock market down 13.2 percent for the year and the Russian ruble down 7.6 percent against the dollar. But now global companies are feeling the pinch. For example, McDonald's says it lost 2 percent in Russian sales, and Visa credit card services has also pulled services from two Russian banks after the second round of sanctions in March. Boeing, the American manufacturer of airplanes, it will have to potentially reassess where it gets its titanium. That company currently, uh, rather the titanium currently comes from the Russian arms maker Rostec, which was covered under Monday's sanctions. Rostec also supplies Italian and Canadian companies as well. A joint venture between Ford Motors and Russian carmaker Sollers announced earlier this month that it is laying off 700 workers at a plant near St. Petersburg due to fallout from Russia's weak ruble. Now, the Europeans and Americans are also working on a package of sectoral sanctions. If there is no response from Moscow, that will most definitely be felt around the globe. The French are concerned about military sales, the British about their financial sector, and the Germans are very worried about what will happen on energy. They get a third of their oil and natural gas from Russia. White House officials have already hinted that if sector sanctions are imposed on Russia, there might be financial aid to offset the damage to nations like Germany, which would disproportionately feel the impact. Elaine? All right, Jessica Stone in the newsroom. Thanks.